What is going on guys, my name is AK Beckian with another YouTube video now in today's video I've got some information on the uh, the new maps that potentially might be added to the map pool uh, What might be taken out to uh, sort of to replace them uh, and just in general uh, some information on the maps and modes for competitive Call of Duty If you find anything in today's video interesting be sure to drop a like also follow me on Twitter while you're there And let's get straight into it now, if you couldn't already tell by the thumbnail, the first thing I'm going to talk about is Apocalypse Hardpoint. Now, Apocalypse was one of the new maps, or, or the new map, I believe. I'm not sure if there was any others that got added uh, at the start of Season 2. It's what the uh, the gameplay uh, used in this video is recorded on. Uh, also, just trying out the Krieg, you know. Well, I say trying out that. It's uh, probably now the main AR, but uh, it's looking quite nice. Uh, my Krieg is uh, my Krieg's feeling pretty nice. But anyway, a lot of the pros were uh, scrimming over the past couple of days on Apocalypse, and uh, from what I heard from the few people that actually spoke about it, I know uh, I know the Chicago Optic guys said they actually quite enjoyed it, and uh, and so when you see this and you compare it to maybe Crossroads that people have been straight moaning about for uh, God knows how long, even with the changes to the the P4 that they did, um, sort of not too uh, not too long ago, I think again at the start of season two, uh, they changed the P4 location just to try and make it play a bit better. I still think uh, it doesn't sort of flow and work as well as maybe some of the other maps. So I guess people are just thinking that maybe they want to mix it up a little bit. So I think that's why the pros are actually going out and trying it now. I think also with all the new GAs that come in with the XM4 gone, with some of the muscles gone, I think people are just sort of, they're throwing everything up in the air and they're going to they're gonna make some big changes. But it will be interesting to see if it comes in. I'm guessing that if it does, it definitely will be a crossroads that it will be replacing. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see what the sort of the final verdict is because after one day of scrims, you can't really tell. Moving on to the next map, and that is Express, which is being tried for both S&D and for Control. Now for S&D, that's not really a surprise. It's something that I was actually expecting to come even earlier on. Uh, I was expecting maybe Miami to get uh, sort of taken out of the rotation and Express to get put in actually very quickly after Express came out. But that wasn't the case, actually. it was it's, Well, it's been in the game for a while, really, uh, and hasn't actually yet uh, sort of touched the competitive, uh, competitive map pool. But I'm guessing uh, that there might be a high chance that it does. But again, that sort of brings into question what uh, S&D map would be taken out. Now, if you didn't see, CDO Intel put a poll up on their uh, on their uh, Twitter basically asking what map would people take out. And uh, the overwhelming majority uh, was actually for Miami, or that certainly made up about 50% of the vote, I believe. Uh, but there were also quite a lot of people that were talking about uh, Checkmate and Garrison being that uh, they're very individual bomb site heavy. There is there is pretty much one bomb site on both of the maps that you'll go to, uh, and the other, uh, the other bomb sites are pretty much useless. So I guess in terms of making a game that... Uh, uh, has uh, lots of not replayability but di different strats and uh, different ideas that people can come up with uh, they want to maybe consider taking out garrison or checkmate uh, in favor of a map that actually has uh, sort of some more some more play style but keep miami in just because of the fact that both bomb sites on miami are viable this also brings me on to the Miami strike that I believe uh, was leaked or uh, was said to come out halfway through season two, which uh, is meant to be a smaller daytime version of Miami, which if that does come out, I'm definitely thinking that that would uh, sort of replace uh, Miami as it is now. I think nighttime competitive maps don't really work. They're, they're fun for just normal multiplayer, but I think uh, the visibility on them is sometimes quite low. And uh, given sort of how cold War, the visibility on Cold War is anyway, I think having it at nighttime and uh, Miami isn't just not uh, with how big it is and all the all the beaches and all stuff like that. I don't know. I think a smaller Miami strike uh, would definitely be a lot better. But that's yet to be confirmed, so I don't actually know if that is coming out. But if it is, I'm guessing it probably will be moved into the competitive rotation. But as well as trying out Express S&D, the pros are also trying out Express Control, which uh, I think is something that... It's actually quite um, quite important. I think something that actually might uh, we might see moved into the rotation just because of how uh, defense heavy checkmate and garrison are. Uh, I think they're very very unbalanced game modes. Raid less so. Raid uh, again, well well still defense heavy isn't as defense heavy. So, but I definitely think that checkmate checkmate especially. Um, I think it's uh, it's not very fun to play in terms of uh, in terms of control just because of how uh, easy it is to win defense and how hard it is to win offense. So I think maybe trying to switch that up for a game mode that maybe is a little bit more balanced or sorry a map that's a little bit more balanced that maybe express um will sort of fill that role i mean i'm yet to hear any sort of uh, feedback on express control uh, how the pros found that but i definitely think it is something that might be considered uh, of course provided it, it sort of is balanced as it should be but let me know your guys' opinions on what maps you think should be brought into the competitive rotation Are you a fan of this uh do you, i think apocalypse is the main one that i'm a little bit uh sort of iffy about i quite like the map uh, i don't know how well it will work competitive of course i haven't scrimmed it yet so i need to give that a try uh, sort of play some play some competitive matches on it and then uh, then i can come to a decision on what i think but hopefully you guys have found this video interesting if you did be sure to drop a like and i'll see you in the next one have a good one